Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Regina Young and his eye boys. So as I promised you, I was going to show you how to make candy yams real quick that probably only take you about 30 minutes just because you want all the marshmallows and everything to um, melt. But other than that, it's very easy. I prefer fresh yams, but when I do events and stuff, I don't always have time to do the fresh vegetables. So sometimes I do canned goods, um, which is probably the best thing to do. So what I have is a can of Bruce yams. And I take the first can and I always pour it in with the juice. Because you need the juice. Then you kind of want to like make sure you get all your juice and stuff. And on the back of the cans, this one does, it has like recipes. Like if you want to make yummy apple delicious we're not going to make that one today but it does have like recipes on here how to do it like if i wanted to make that one i would take one of these cans i would use apple pie filling um six cans of those it says because i actually need another pound of yams besides this one so you need a pound with this can and then you need brown sugar cinnamon nutmeg and a large bag of marshmallows. So we're going to do ours almost like this, but without the apples. So now that I got my yams. Now you can use brown sugar. Brown sugar is phenomenal. It's very, very good. I'll tell you that now. Brown sugar is Another sugar that you could use is called confetti, which is a white sugar. It's actually a pinch sweeter. This is my nutmeg. I tell people to use that, but I'm gonna tell you a cheat that I learned to use if you don't want to use sugar at all. Believe it or not, some days, I'm lazy and I really don't feel like doing the sugar, the cinnamon and all that stuff. So I will buy this product and put it in there and I don't have to add sugar no more. And really you don't have to add the marshmallows as much either unless you just want it for show. A lot of times people do it for show and I'll do it for show today, but it won't be as much. Usually they tell you to add like tons of marshmallows. To give it that sweet taste. But if you add this, this actually sweetens everything. It's like having a waffle or a panty cake. You know, it's a little different. And I put a little marshmallows in the middle. Now, I'm actually only going to use one bag because I used the other product. The other thing that you can use, and I highly suggest you to use it, I use it on something else, but honey. I love honey. And I always get 100% honey um, because, you know, you can get the one that says filter or unfiltered, raw, whatever. They have all kinds of things. Honey is a natural sweetener. Very healthy for you. So I highly suggest you to use honey because honey is it's natural. It's good for you. It's better than using all that other stuff like sugar and just adding all that other stuff in it. You can use honey and it's healthy. Now the next can of yams, I'm actually going to drain the water off, the juice off. Now I'm going to tell you, the juice is good if you get the um, organic one yams or you make yam juice. You can actually make a lot of um, smoothies with vegetables. I love to make smoothies. I love to add them in my meals. Like instead of drinking juice or having a soda, I'll use, uh, I'll use uh, 
A smoothie. Now I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon. Because I already had my nutmeg in there. And that yam pan does not look 100% full, so. You know, I might have to add more in. Not really for sure yet. That's actually a lot of juice in there, to be honest with you. It's a lot of juice. So now we have our marshmallows. We have our cinnamon, our nutmeg. We have our syrup instead of, but you can use honey. You can use brown sugar. You can use a lot of different things. I'm just going to add that in there. And once again, I went to my favorite store, which is Byler's. And this big bag of marshmallows, the price is still on it, actually. I got two for a dollar. Two of these big bags for a dollar. So that's the way it's going to look. And then once it's cooked, it'll look a little different. But, ta-da! So all you need is the can of Bruce Yams. To make a big pan like this, you need to put the juice in the first can. The second can, drain the juice off. Put your nutmeg in there. Then add your cinnamon. Then you can add brown sugar. Or you can add syrup or honey. It just depends on you. But you really don't need a lot of it, even though the sugar is actually going to soak into the yams. And that's what you want. You really want that. One thing that it doesn't tell you to add on there that I love to add is butter. Um, I always love to add butter to mine. Butter changes the flavor. It makes it taste different. So I always add a little bit of butter. Just a little bit on top. almost like and then you can cover it with a lid put it in the oven ta -da, all done comment like subscribe tell me what you think of the video and most importantly if you want me to try another recipe or do something different like I can make the games in with different sugars and um just show you the different things that you could do with yams. I love cooking, but I only love to cook when I have big events or the boys' birthday parties. Other than that, I cook like two large meals a week <laughs> because we always have leftovers. And leftovers always taste good the second day, especially if I make soup or chili or something. I got to do my chili on here one day. That's one of my famous things that I do. I love chili. I'm prepping it, but I haven't done it yet. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you later. Once again, if I don't see you before Valentine's, happy Valentine's. Enjoy your day. And remember, Sharon is Karen, and we love you.